Okay, this cutie here is going to be one of the top of the grapples. So the, I don't know, the part that, yeah, you know, the thing. Anyways, I'm going to cut this at a 10 degree angle so it comes down. It's just going to look more sexy that way. Uh, and what you can see here is I got this little angle finder here. And uh, I just put this in here. I don't know, can you see that? And then I basically just line it up. And that's my angle. So stick with me. Well, if you're curious to know what 10 degrees looks like, it looks like that. There is the old shavings where the thing used to be. Otherwise, <laughs> I guess that's what it looks like on a protractor. Just kept on cutting these. There is no doubt that I am not as smart as I used to be. I'm getting dumber as I get older. But what I am good at is doing savvy things like this where I never thought of that when I was younger. Like, oh, cut them all at one time. Okay, nothing too exciting here. I'm just making the grapples themselves. I already cut all the material a bunch at a time. Trying to survive the freaking huge June bugs that keep flying in here and mosquitoes. I uh, just tacked one together, then I'm just laying them on top of each other so they're the same. I realized that I hate the way this is just blunt, so I'm going to have to cut this off somehow. Um, go back and do that, but they all should be the same. Go. No big deal. Move paper stuff away from the plasma cutter. <laughs> the hell was I thinking? <laughs> okay, right now we're kind of doing three things. We're cutting the ends of what would be the grapple tines off with the plasma cutter and at the same time got the saw department running over here cutting little gussets to help reinforce the tines and now we're trying to keep this cat alive wish me luck here these are going to be the cross members for my grapples I'm just going to cut one more section for the next grapple Okay, here you can see what I'm doing, these end caps. I just put some spacers so it looked like it's about centered. And now I'm gonna give her the old glue a around there. Oh, can you kind of see the issue there? Apparently I didn't get her very square when I welded it together. Luckily I abided by the, we'll just tack it now and future me can figure it out. And let's go with that. Look at how crooked this one is. Redo! Gosh, I'm getting tired of working on this thing, like, so much so. Anyways, I'm mounting the grapples. I didn't know the best way if I should put a rod through here and then put them up there. Or I had already tacked these on. I was kind of regretting that. That's why I just barely tacked them in case I had to straighten them up because I've noticed that they're not perfect. They're just based upon how good the cut was. Anyways, I tried one out. I just laid it up there. Eyeball them the best I could and tried to square them up with the side of the bucket here. And that's how it kind of turned out. Um, then I got a cylinder up here, laid it out, uh, <laughs> laid it out, and I had the cylinder retracted because that's how it came. I thought I screwed up, <laughs> looked over everything. I'm like, oh, you're just an idiot. And uh, I also thought I screwed up there, but I think that was intentional. Either way, I have it just tacked. And I'm getting tired of working on it, and that's what it looks like. Hopefully later on it looks a little bit better. Here you can see how I'm getting these grapples attached. I just take the bag mounts and basically clamp them on and then tack them, as you can see here. Doing the best to get it as squarely as possible. Okay, after I get them tacked on like this, I just mark center. And then I'm going to weld this on, or I'm going to weld this on. Uh, it doesn't quite work now because... Uh, uh, grind a chamfer on there luckily i have a pretty savage belt sander so that's where that's at okay that's the process of putting the braces on there i couldn't really come up with anything better so that's what i did i just uh cut pieces about that length and tacked them on and uh well <laughs> this is not going very good
All right, well, that, uh, that sucks way more than I was expecting. Um, don't do this T design. That is a lot more welding than I was anticipating. And uh, I'm not real sure if I even like it or not, but it's all wrapped up now and we're gonna keep going. I don't think these are necessary at all, but I am gonna cut some braces to go in here. And that's probably more just for looks than anything. All right, I'm gonna call it good on this grapple here. I got the hydraulic lines kind of figured out and I welded the steel on. So uh, I think that should be pretty much everything. I was gonna add some gussets here and here, but I don't think it's worth the effort on this bucket because it's just gonna be at home anyways. And if I decide I wanna change something later, I can always just weld it on. No use wasting my time right now. Um, I think this one's gonna be mine because I don't really like how these steps turned out, but I don't wanna redo them. But anyways, yeah. There it is.